Welcome back. Now, in this video, we're going to go back to the file menu and we're going to take a look at a few more elements that you'll see in your file menu. Now, if we go to the new recording link, what that's going to do is that's going to bring up the recording bar that we have been seeing in some other videos. And you'll see that toolbar right here. Of course, remember, you'll be clicking the record button in order to get started with your recording. We go back to the file menu and we go to the import link. You'll notice that we can import media. We can import recent recordings and these are recordings that we have actually done in Camtasia. And typically Camtasia will go to the directory where we last saved the recording and it will hold at least eight. So we can get any of the last eight recordings that we have done and import them into a current project. We can import captions. We've actually seen captions in the previous video and what we will be doing is we'll be looking for a specific kind of text file. And Camtasia will actually show you what those file formats are in this area. Now for this video, we're actually going to skip Connect Mobile Device because we're going to talk about that in a separate video. You'll actually see a command for the library. Now the library is where we actually saw the assets that we use in order to enhance our recording, if you recall. So going back to this, what we can do is we can actually import media to that library. So in other words, we can add media to our library if we are going to be using a certain kind of media in all of our video. Let's say that there's a music that is our brand music. Let's say there's a logo that's our brand logo. And what we want to do is we want to have it as part of our library every place that we use Camtasia. And so what we would do is we would import that media to the library and we would do that by clicking this link. Camtasia then goes to look for something on our hard drive that we can actually place in the library. Now in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're just going to place a sound file there. So we're going to click on that sound file and we're going to click open. And what you'll notice now is that that file is now in the music tracks for all of our libraries. This means then that anytime we open up Camtasia, we can actually use this file in any of our recordings. So let's go back to our library menu. And what you're going to notice is that you can actually create a new folder in that library. So what we could do is we could create a new folder and we could call that folder something that we are commonly going to have in our videos. Notice I created a new file called interview snippets. So now anything that I have that's an interview snippet, I would want it to be inside of this folder. And so in this particular case, I might take this interview and slide it up into the folder. So now it's part of this part of my library. You're going to notice two additional commands, export library and import library. So what we could do is we could import an entire library that's in a zip file and bring it into our current library and actually add it. Now, one of the things that you might wonder is, well, why would I ever import another library? Well, there are a couple of reasons that you might do this. If you have what's called a production machine, in other words, you are rendering videos on a, another PC where you have Camtasia installed, if you're using a library item that you have imported but has not been imported to the new software, well, you'd want to have that new library on your second PC where you're rendering videos. And so what you'd want to do in that case is you'd want to import a zipped library that was actually exported from your primary PC. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to explore the export library command. And we're going to do that by going to the library and we're going to highlight all of the items there. We're going to go back to the file menu going to go back to the library and then we're going to export selected assets. And then this is going to have 
a certain file name. You'll notice that it looks like a zip file, but it's going to look slightly different, and it's going to be specific to Camtasia. So what we're going to do is we're going to click OK, and this entire library is now going to be zipped. And what can happen now is that this library, once zipped, can be imported into another installation of Camtasia. And you'll see it's zipping up all the library items in here now. Okay, so now that we're complete, this library has been zipped and it can now be imported into another installation of Camtasia as long as it is ours and it is licensed by us. What you'll also notice is that we can get additional media online. So we can click this link and we'll be taken to the TechSmith website. So Camtasia gives users animated backgrounds, icons they can use, motion graphics, music, and there are also assets from other software partners that you can actually download for Camtasia also. So if you wanted to download this background, what you need to do is to sign into your Camtasia account. And once you're signed in, you just click the download button. Once the file has been downloaded, we can now import it into Camtasia. Once we've downloaded this information, what we can do is we can now pull this into Camtasia into our media bin. And to do that, we're going to click the import media. And then we're just going to go and get the actual video. And we're going to grab this file and click open. That's going to bring the file into our media bin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click this. I want to click add to library. And now this has now been added to our library. Of course, then we'll want to categorize it into the right folder, but that is how you would grab the content that you get online, bring it into Camtasia, and get it into your library. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.